Hello everyone, my name is KJ Reddy, working as a assistant professor at PFK Star Engineering College. This video I will explain. Uh, welcome to my channel. My channel name is Accelerative Research. This video I will explain power quality and pack subject. This is the power quality and uh, pack subject playlist. This, uh, this all videos are uh, related to power quality and pack subject. Already three chapters uh, completed my videos. Now today I will explain fourth chapter, power quality and pack uh, subject fourth chapter. This fourth chapter static uh, series compensator unit four. This is J N T H R eighteen syllabus. J N T H Hyderabad R eighteen syllabus. Unit four static series compensators. Uh, in, in static series compensator, this is fourth chapter. Uh, topics are objectives of series compensator, variable impedance type series compensator, next to TCSC and TSSC and operating principle and control schemes and SSSC and power angle characteristics, control range and VAR rating and capacity. Capability to provide reactive power compensation, external control. These are all topics related to fourth chapter series compensators. Now I will start presentation. Okay, unit four. Unit 4, static series compensator. Subtopics are objectives of series compensator. In objectives, next variable impedance type series compensator. In variable impedance type uh, series compensator, these two subtopics, TSSC and TSSC, these two are variable impedance type series compensator. Next topic, static series compensator, as, uh, SSSC. This, uh, SSSC subtopics are power angle characteristics, control range, and VAR rating, and capability to provide reactive power compensation and external control. These four topics related to this uh, C and this variable impedance type series compensator subtopics are TSSC and TSSC. Okay. The main objectives of this uh, series compensator, these three. Voltage stability and improvement of transient stability and power oscillation damping. Okay, these three and uh, reactive power compensation in active power and reactive power compensation. The main objectives of uh, series compensation. These are the variable impedance type series compensator, mainly three, but in your syllabus only two uh, two topics. This GTO gate turn off thyristor. Control series compensator GCSC. Next TSSC means thyristor switched series capacitor. Next TCSC thyristor controlled series capacitor. These three topics are variable impedance type series compensator subtopics. Now I will explain this class TSSC. TSSC means thyristor switched series capacitor. Here. Yeah. T means thyristor, S means switch, thyristor act as a switch and series capacitor. This is the simple diagram. Okay, single thyristors and uh, single capacitor and uh, two anti-panel thyristors. Here VC is the voltage across capacitor. This current I is current flowing in transmission line. This is the a, a number of um, four, num four capacitors connected in series and uh, each capacitor is connected to anti parallel thyristors here VC1, VC2, VC M minus 1 and VCM. Okay. This is the current current flowing in transmission line. This is C1 is the capacitor 1, C2 is the capacitor 2. Here VC1 is the voltage across capacitor. Here VC2 is the voltage across capacitor 2. Next, this 2. Thyristors, one thyristor it controlling positive off cycle, second controlling it controlling negative off cycle. Okay, in AC transmission, this is the single thyristor, uh, single switch, single capacitor, and two anti parallel thyristors. 
this is the uh, more number of capacitors connected in series. This uh, when connecting more number of capacitors in series, the reactance value will in, uh, the impedance value increasing. Okay. This is this is the circuit diagram. This is the waveform. Thyristor switch to series capacitor. Now I will explain this uh, circuit diagram and waveform. This is I is the current flowing in transmission line. Here also this I. This I is the current flowing in transmission line. Next here VC is the voltage across the capacitor in transmission line. This VC is voltage across capacitor in transmission line. Here switches, these two switches, uh, two uh, switches connected in anti parallel one switch connecting in controlling positive off cycle, second controlling a second uh, switch controlling a negative off cycle. Observe here this output wave form. Here, first, here starting point 0 to up to 90 degrees. Okay, switch S1 is on when switch S1 is on current flowing in the circuit here the current here flowing in the circuit at the same time the voltage vc here this thick line is the vc vc means voltage across capacitor is zero here zero to 90 degrees zero to 90 degrees voltage across capacitor is zero when switch is turned on the voltage across vc is zero again after 90 degrees the thyristor t1 and t2 both will turn off when Thyristor T1 and T2 both will turn off. The current is zero. Okay, here showing current, but the actual current is zero up to here 90 degrees to again 270, uh, not 90, 182. Next year, this up to here. Okay, up to here, the current is zero and the voltage VC. The voltage VC is here 182. 360 the voltage vc voltage across capacitor is increasing here again after 360 degrees to again next cycle 360 to 180 the voltage across capacitor is decreasing okay this is the voltage waveform here up to here voltage vc increasing again voltage decreasing okay after here 0 to 180 180 to 360 360 to again uh, 420 vc here Again, set the second cycle VC. Okay, here VC zero. VC zero. Here again, current start flowing here. Current start flowing here means when thyristor T1 and T2 will turn on. SW is allowed to turn on. VC is zero. Okay, here switches turn on. Positive two thyristors T1 and T2 both will here turn on. The VC. VC means voltage across capacitor is zero. Okay, in the circuit, have current and voltage both are. Uh, two current waveform and voltage waveform, two are in same graph. That's why confusing. Okay, don't confuse here. Here starting switch here turn on the voltage across VC is zero and the current flowing here. Again, the two uh, switches will turn off. Okay, have to this point to this point. Two switches will turn off. When will turn off switches? The current is zero and the voltage is increasing and decreasing. Okay, this is the VC. Again, here thyristor is T1 and T2 turn on. Here thyristor T1 and T2 turn on. The capacitor voltage across capacitor here zero. VC is equal zero. This daughter lens VC is up to this point to this point zero. Okay, this is the thyristor switched series capacitor. Here thyristor is not controlling. That's just thyristor is switching. Switching means thyristor will turn on and turn off process okay this is the i explained single capacitor and two anti parallel thyristor remaining same operation here okay if four uh, this total number of thyristors uh, at a time will turn on the uh, current flowing is this bypass okay if some if in some case these two this uh, VC1 and VC2 voltage is uh, this two thyristors. Two thyristors means capacitor, uh, VC, uh, capacitor one across thyristors, capacitor two across thyristors will turn off. This VC minus one across thyristors will turn off. C VCM uh, parallel thyristors will turn off. The current flowing like this. Okay. 
this direction again current here bypassing bypassing to thyristors okay this is the thyristor switch series capacitor this is used for a uh, reactive power compensation and improving uh, transient stability and voltage stability okay okay thank you thank you for watching this